What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing the Lot 40 18 year old cast strength. This one came out this year. Only 154 bottles. Uh, I believe it was bottled either at the end of 2021 or 2020, beginning of 2022. 56.1% um, and Wiser's, which is the company that owns Lot 40, um, could be doing this more often, I think. They say they don't have very old stock of their 100% rye, which is what Lot 40 always is. Uh, but I have a hard time believing that because their warehouse is so big and they've been producing Lot 40 for so long, they must be keeping barrels aside. It's just, it was a disappointing release in the sense that they only popped out 154 bottles. And that means that 154 people got a chance to own a bottle. Maybe half of that actually opened the bottle because this went high on secondary right away. So let's say, I don't know, if you shared this bottle and you opened it, maybe you shared it with 10 other people. I think I shared it with about 15 other people just because I gave some to my Patreons and I did a whole bunch of other stuff with this. Uh, so who knows how many people actually got to try this. La Ford doesn't do it very often. It was a single cask. Hopefully they do it more often. We will see, I don't know, a um, little skeptical, not really happy with this release in the sense of availability and all that stuff. But let's see how the quality of the whiskey is. Okay, so when this was first opened, um, I enjoyed it, but a lot of people claimed it was really hot. They didn't enjoy it compared to the 12 and the 11 which were released in previous years. But I think this is really rounded out, very, very mellow now. You get that dill from the rye for sure. But then there's like a sweet, almost vanilla cake kind of note. Maybe like a touch of pickle juice. but it's more on the sweet side than the uh, savory side. Really, really nice on the nose. Like I said, 56.1%. Maybe a bit of like a sugar cookie in there as well. Beautiful nose. On the palate. Really good. It is still a little different, maybe a little astringent from the 18 years spent in new oak. It is a dark color, obviously. I'm assuming it's either a char number two or char number three. I don't think they would go much higher than that. Really, really nice. But is it as good as the 12? or the 11. Well, my buddy Jeremy gave me a sample of his open bottle of 12, so let's find out. Okay, so over here to the 12. The nose is a bit muted. This is an older bottling, obviously. It's a few years now, and Jeremy probably had this open for quite some time. You do get that sweetness that you get on the 18. This is more dill forward than the 12. Maybe a little bit more dessert forward on the 12 than the 18. Yeah, for sure. Again, this has been open for quite some time, but nowhere near as long as the 12 that sat, um, you know, in a bottle open for probably a couple years now. But I will say, that, you know, I gave this plenty of time to open up. We're talking a few months now, several months now, actually. Uh, so the 18 has had plenty of chance to really shine. And unfortunately, I don't think that that's what it's doing. The nose is nice. Um, when compared to the 12, you definitely get way more dill on the 18. So that might be something that, you know, you're not looking forward toward in a 100% rye. A lot of people love rye for those notes. On the 12 palette, Okay, so 
The 12 is nice. It doesn't have anywhere near as much heat as the 18 for sure, but it does feel like something is lacking on the 12. I'm gonna give it another sip. Yeah, something a little short. It's not viscous enough or something along those lines. 55% on the dot. My guess is they rounded it off with a little bit of water to get it to 50, 55 despite calling it cast strength. But the 18, it just smells like it has more viscosity to it. And the palette definitely has more viscosity to it. Now, if you're a big rye fan, I can't see why you wouldn't like this. Um, are you gonna spend upwards of, or north of $200 Canadian for that? Maybe not, you don't have to. You can get a better rye uh, for less. It's a cool, unique thing that Lot 40 did because they don't actually produce too many um, single casks. But I will say, one of my favorite ryes of all time destroys both of these in my opinion. This one right here, it was bottled by Shelter Point, but it's an Alberta distillery uh, rye. It was, I believe, nine years old, 11 years old, sorry, 11 years old. And personally, I think it outshines both of these um, for much, much less. This was about a hundred bucks Canadian. I mean, the 18 year old is good. You can't go wrong with it. If you did get a ball and you opened it, I'm sure you're not disappointed. Or if you are disappointed, uh, you'll get over it and enjoy the rest of the bottle. Let's see how the 12 is compared. Okay, so the 18 is not much different than the 12. The 12 has a little bit more going, uh, sorry, a little bit less going on in my opinion. Yeah, there's a little less heat, but there's also a little bit less of everything else. There's a little bit less sweetness. There's a little bit less viscosity. There's a little bit less rye heavy notes, like the dills that you get in a rye. So for that reason, I wouldn't say that the 12 is that much better. Uh, my palates obviously changed because I used to absolutely adore the 12. I would say that these are both probably in and around an 86, 87. Not something that I'm gonna go nuts to buy. I really, really like this. I'm glad I stocked up on it when I had the chance. It was a Kensington Wine Market exclusive, 100% uh, rye, and I think it was double oaked if I'm not mistaken. Um, aged for five years in Alberta, and then Shelter uh, Point took it and aged it for an additional six years. Um, and I think they changed the barreling too. So um, obviously this one's not available anymore. This one's probably not available anymore unless you wanna pay huge secondary dollars for it, but I would say stay away from paying anything over retail for this particular bottling. I'm sure if Lot 40 continues to do this, uh, Don Liver Livermore will probably uh, find some, you know, honey, honey barrels out there, but this wasn't that for me. Uh, I'm sure, like I said, they have stuff in the distillery that's much better. Um, the 12, very good, but like I said, I wouldn't give it much more than an 87, maybe an 88. I don't know, side by side with the 18, it's not drinking that much better, if at all, in my opinion. Hope you like this video, guys. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you really like it, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.